the third child of four siblings. Teresa Krauss was born on the 31st of July 1950 in Cape Town. The family lived in Woodstock. Her father worked for the railway and her mother took care of the house and children. When Teresa was eight, her father died suddenly. She loved music since she was very small. She found that when she sat in front of the piano playing, um, she found some healing emotionally when she felt sad about something. And she was good at it. However, she never thought she was good in playing piano until her music teacher encouraged her to go and study music after school. It was at Grütteskir High School where her music teachers Hannes Ace and his wife Helga Basel saw the talent in Teresa and advised and motivated her to take up music studies after school. Teresa went to Stellenbosch University after matriculating and took the advice of her music teachers and studied music. At university, her lecturers included Lionel Bowman and Mrs. Elderman. For organ studies, she was lectured by Peter de Lange and Dani Smit. After graduating, Teresa's first teaching position was in Porterville, where she taught music to pupils in grade 1 to grade 12. From Porterville, Teresa moved on to Belleville High School, where she was responsible for audience development and harmony, and helping out as accompanist during hall gatherings. It's also here that she met another budding music teacher and future husband, Henny Luke. Teresa got involved in the children's choir after she married Henny Luke, and she had a children, and when they needed an accompanist, it was obvious for Henny to ask her to accompany the choir. In 1978, she started with a choir as official accompanist. Teresa was actually like a mother to the choir members. All of them loved her and still loves her dearly. She did special things to them, made them feel comfortable and she cared for them. At a choir camp, when we worked very hard, she was working with the altar ones and to encourage them, she gave them sweets at the beginning of the practice just to tell them there's something nice to eat so that you can concentrate now thereafter on practicing and learning the songs. In the choir, sweets was often forbidden because it's not good for the singing voice. Sometimes the children also were tired and not motivated because we practice for long hours and in her group she made up little songs for them. Whenever they get tired they sing the motivative song to keep them going again. The children also loved her smile. They were looking forward to go to the choirs on Saturdays because she always greeted them with a smile. When someone did not feel well, she was the one taking the child in her arms and walking away with them to somewhere else in the room. She also cared about the music staff not only about the children. And this year when she was not there, there was clearly something missing at the choir. Teresa was diagnosed with cancer in January this year and was subsequently placed on medical leave. 
on the 14th of September at one minute before midnight, she passed away peacefully. Apart from an incredible musical legacy, including hundreds of arrangements, Teresa left behind life experiences and lessons that choir members and those she touched will cherish for years to come. And as Teresa found solace in music, so too do the choir members in singing. With her passing, there were lots of tears, but only when they were not singing. The recording you heard in this clip is a live recording of one of the songs that the members of the Tigerberg Children's Choir spontaneously sang at their Saturday rehearsal after learning of Tani Teresa's passing. A special thank you to Karina Erasmus for supplying all the information and taking part in this special tribute. We continue the celebration with one of Teresa's arrangements, of which the sheet music is requested the most by countries from around the world. It's called My Harki My Lifi. end off our tribute with Teresa's favorite song. Here is her arrangement of the Anton Goosen song, Yankee.
That was Yankee, and before that, Harki Malifi, both sung by the Tigerberg Children's Choir, conducted by Henny Luke.